So today I'm going to be focused on resources, mostly on the import, merging on the imports, as well as kind of uh, dealing with the resource pools themselves, but that'll be a little bit later. So to begin with, one thing I've noticed is that for each resource, every, wherever there's a resource, when I'm trying to import, I have two functions. The first one, which is like the import function in this case, which is how you pull in the create info data. And the second is when you use that create info data to go through and try to find uh, a loader for that so that it can be loaded, right? That's what this does. It asks the, each of these iterators is the resource loader. And it asks, can you process this information, this particular create info information? And then if you can, load it, and then I get out. Or if I can't find something to load it, get the hell out of here. Now, this is, you know, this makes enough sense on its own but i noticed that i actually have multiple the same thing repeated over and over and over again so i have it there and if i go down to registration for physics i should have basically <clears throat> the exact same exact same functions again with a different error code of course going down to simulation i should have basically the, the exact same thing again this is nonsensical. I don't need to have multiple versions of this. So let's merge them together. Now, I don't have a really good location to put them generally because actually group data simulation. Yeah, because <clears throat> because of this, they are. Uh, yeah, that. They use re group data, they use simulation, so I can't put it down in a uh, faux resource because that's a bit too low level. That's, that, that doesn't bring in simulation, not yet. I don't need it there yet. So rather, the only sensible location is to put it where simulation is because simulation is also where group data is. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have at the bottom here a couple of temporary functions. Okay, I don't know why it's got all that, but <clears throat> let's see. We got this. We're, we're returning that. It's a handle, yeah. Uh, so I'll just kind of put like temp. Oh, simulation. Um, get source create info. And it's void star p context. So resource ID. Kind of put that ID there, and we've got the second one, which is the load function. Faux simulation load. Context resource. And this. Copy them both. Put them in the source side down at the bottom. This is getting a bit large. It's a thousand lines. I don't like it when it gets that big. Okay, this is pretty simple. Source ID, thank you. Mm -hmm. And this is the same thing across the board, I believe. I need, okay, yeah, I need to deal with that. Do I have an error code? Yes, I do. Not registered. found so that should be the same and then what I have to do is I'll replace them in the other location so this info physics goes away you replace it with that and that
So we've got that. We've got the same thing on the simulation registration. Here and here. One and two. We roll on up to the graphics. Same thing here. Let's make sure that's going to work while that compiles. Okay, and let's give that a run. That's the wrong one. Okay, it imports, it loads everything seemingly. I'll be happy with that. So. I got that. I want to remove the error code. That makes a bit more sense, actually. No compatible, no loader found is simpler anyways. That goes away. Gonna have the same thing in the error code CPP side. That goes away. Great. There's no test for this. Okay. to the bring up, error code, error code, here. That and that. So with all the error codes and okay one thing I want to do is what I'm going to do on the resource I want to make these uh, declarations a bit easier to deal with in the future so one thing I want to do include in the resource functions which is where these functions are, uh, are done I want to add a couple of type defs for the the pattern, uh, the function pattern, you know, the definition declaration, definition of the uh, function. So for the first one is, of course, this one should take into a resource. Create info. It's a pointer point function for uh, get resource get info. As Context and for resource ID. The other one star p function for full load resource data. Just the load resource data. Data. Yeah. And it brings it, it takes in a context, the resource, and this function pointer, which also has a pointer. Mm, 
yeah, I kind of screwed those up, didn't I? Okay. So that means this becomes p import info function. This becomes that. That's a pointer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is something I want to do then. I want to change all these locations to be corrected. <clears throat> uh, all these locations, my apologies. Ah, uh, there's a lot of them. After, I'll do that after. So, <clears throat> This is good, right? Seemingly, it's good so far. All right. So we got those. Now, if that's the case, then I can actually be make these a little bit more. Do I want to do, like, I can either, I think I'll leave it like that, yeah. So to begin with, uh, I've got what? Let's close all these up, close all these up. Error code, remove the old error code, same thing there. Remove two, change these up. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Urged. Rather than each. Resources. Get, uh, Simulation library. Merge resource load functions. These resource code functions are all doing the same thing with different error code terms. So, Q 
duplicate copy of the functions. Functions used to get the resource trade info and load resources, they use a temporary common share button provided by the simulation library. And if I just fix up so it fits on 72 characters, barely. Okay. Next, I will need a, okay, I need to create a common pool type, basically. Uh, right now, these are all individual. Like I said, they're all very individual. They don't have to be at all. So I need to create a common one where I can, like the change, the differences which are on a per pool basis, which are what, which are um, the resource type and the size of the allocation. <clears throat> those, yeah. I can set those at the beginning and just have them copied it into the new items. That can work. So, hmm. I'll create a pool here. We'll just get it uh, C only from the get go. I think. Um, okay. We need the IDs. We need. We're returning error codes. I need the handle. And I need the resource handle itself. Let's also add the CPP for the moment. So at least it'll start uh, being compiled in, or it'll at least the um, what the IDE Clang D the daemon can actually start processing it. So I should do that. Oh, and the test. So we're there, we need to add these. Okay, we need several things. First of all, we need to define, um, sorry, there we go. resource pool, handle, then we need to fold res, res or resource? Res export. We have resource functions. I need the return. Like that. To destroy.
add, find or add, setting the async task function. Hmm. I guess. <clears throat> um, unloading, I'm not sure. Okay, let's just do these three first. That, that, and finally that. It's a little verbose. So we'll just do that. That find or add. One, two, three. Okay. Each one on their own. And then I really want to have the ability to start being able to remove resources as well. ID, ID, ID. I will have to, oh, I also need to do two things. I need How do I, uh, do, like the struct types, right? <clears throat> I need to say what <laughs> what type they are. How do I do that? I do that somehow. Uh, I have a struct type type, I think. That I don't really use very much. Release pool. Simulation structure type. Okay. And resource type. This is coming from where? Let's move this around then. This is peer, it's that. Hmm. Get resource pool, loader, system, component. Hmm. Simple as that. Resource pool type. Okay. That'll resolve that, that, and then I need size type. It says Type, resource type and resource size. Okay. Do, 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 do. 
Good. Now onto this side. Do an empty namespace. I'll have to make some modifications down there for sure. But resource pool. Got three things. Oh, resource functions. Resource callbacks. I got a synchronization. I'll put that at the top. And we've got a vector of resources. Shared mutex and just regular mutex for the lock types. Include. that. Wait, I don't have that? What's this? Okay. I also need to put in a couple of items, which is the resource type. That is going to equal a new. Do I even want to do that? Mm. Mm. Now nah, let's just do it this way. Size of that. That even work? Oh no no no! Because I got C plus plus types. No, that's not going to work at all. It's not going to work very nicely, anyways. Give me one of these, please. Then I have to say star new resource pool. Something like this. This becomes like a copy move operator, something like that. Constructor, I think. that resources is an empty is there anything else I really need <clears throat> I don't think so oh I need the uh, code define handle casts resource pool from resource Cool to that. To handle the P resource cool. <clears throat> And then I need code to error code of resource success.
All right. Next. Oh, I also need to external C. There we go. Is there anything else? I guess I gotta go through. I gotta go through all the resources. The resource pool. Resources. And then I need to decrement ref count of that. And destroy it. And delete it. Simple enough. And then we got the add, find or remove, and what have you. Keep that around. Here we got this scope lock, this stuff, yeah. So what we got? We got the M sync, so this becomes P resource pool sync. It's not a scope lock, it's a unique lock. Go through the resources if this equals resource ID. Then we found it, already exists, otherwise it becomes resource type. ID the callbacks. <clears throat> New resource. Yeah, we do that. Increment the ref count, we add it to this. Similar deal going on here. Find or do I even use this really? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Maybe I want to get rid of this. I don't. Hmm. No, I don't want this. This is, this is too, no. But I will keep this. I'll change this out to be a standard shared block. Don't need that, we can just return at resource or iterator. Otherwise return for null handle. The shared lock will automatically destroy it when, we're, when we leave.
Okay. The new one, though, that's of great interest to me, is removing. I want to finally implement the ability to remove these things. Or destroy them, basically. Remove. Ah, same thing in this case. Hmm. Actually, I'm not, if, okay. Is this an int or what? If or count. We want to do the same kind of deal here. This needs to be a unique lock. Starts up as that. We go through. Through the resources, start begin. If that is resource ID that we're looking for. Found it. We want to er uh, uh, from the resources. We want to erase this one. We found it. We erase. We get out of here. If this is the case, then we want to return. So resource. code, I guess. Do I have anything? No, I don't really have one. That matches good. Got that. We want to go to the test side. That's good. to add a log here. So, okay, I also need to add it here as well, really. So, log. So, resource four. Warning. If 
I need that, which is resource pool. Which is dealing with that type. Kind of. No, it has to be an else case. Like that. So start off with it's void, uh, void star of p resource pool, which is p resource pool resource pool type. ID to string or something like that. No, ID to string. There we go. Uh, fo resource get ID. Something like that. So the pool is created. I have these functions. All right. <clears throat> oh, and I need to what? And I want to add this, right? Yeah. Kind of like an extra extra little thing for now. So include that. Resource pool um, callback start and find like that. Okay, now with all those in place, let's see if I can. Uh, 
add a sync task callback. Okay. Uh, let's move on down to here where I want to do, let's just run one of these. So way down here, way down here in the application, we have somewhere here where we have all these things. These don't run. Oh yeah, these all run asynchronously. Right, right, right. <clears throat> Equals the resource pool. For foe simulation, get this, please. Registration, we're changing this up to where is, let's just trash these, trash them. Make it nice and easy. Tell me where the problems are. Come on. Hmm. Okay, yeah. So armature system needs to be updated for Source pool, M armature pool. We go on down to here. So this is different now. This is. find armature pool and we're trying to find what was it this one uh, okay <clears throat> can we just not resource pool for resource ID the foe ID, which is the same thing. No matching. Yeah, yeah. Resource pool, resource ID, that's, uh, this is gone. That's right there. This is, whatever. Armature pool is gone. <clears throat> that may be why I just couldn't figure out how to compile. You got hooked up on that. DK animation.
O null handled becomes that. <clears throat> That's just that. Let's make sure it's the right type. Go all the way down here to this point where we try to find. So next it'll go down to registration, right? Nope, Armature Systems got something else. Yeah, still a pointer. Now we go to registration. Okay, we are here. Roll on down to here. We got this instead. This becomes a resource pool. Resource pool. Other, okay. If zero, if there was an error, we couldn't find it. Otherwise, we go ahead and we say, hey, ho, destroy resource pool that. This is now different. Um, what, what am I doing? Faux simulation resource pool data, loader CI. I'm creating a new, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bit weird. This is, let's just do it here. Error code equals code resource pool, which requires me to say, hey, I need these functions, which I will just use. Here. So I need that. I need the resource pool type, which is this, I need the resource type, so in, uh, okay, structure, armature, that, just that. I need the size of, oh, just that, right? And finally, return that. Put that in. Okay. All the way down here, this becomes that. Uh, this. Rolling down to same thing kind of here. Pass that around. The bring up. I'm gooey, yeah, okay.
just doing this over and over and over again. Not equal, oh no, handle. Otherwise it becomes resource pool find that and that. And finally on the import side, same thing again. Is that all of them? Hmm? Not quite. There's another one in here. Right, for this. So I need to set in. Do I even... Oh no, this. <clears throat> okay, uh, one other temporary thing. right standard vector of that const end get data vector this is going to be incredibly annoying So I got this slightly out of order. I should have probably done something to eliminate the requirement for these loadings first. So for this, kind of hiding this in the C++ area. Not great. Okay, does, does this proof of concept work? The answer is no. Not at all. So what happened? Where? Error importing, error importing resource. Okay, let's try to find where that is. Here, sorry. Here or here. Cool. Okay, so we're on at least we're on the persistent side, which is still unfortunate. No, 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 
no, no, no. Where are you? You'd be in here, right? So I need somewhere where it returns false. Here, here, here. I don't think it'd be, uh, it's not generating an error. So probably here. Here, error code, what we got? Armature V1. Um, error code three, cool. What is What is the message? E armature resource already exists. Cool. Not really cool. Interesting though. As part of registration, somewhere it's going on about how it already exists. Should be. Would it be in here? No, it'd be. Import registration, perhaps. Yeah, it'd be in. It's in here, right? So it's getting past this point. He says, hey, you know, this is this is real. It says it's not found. Why? <clears throat> is there anything in here? There's no resources whatsoever. Okay. Wait, hold on a second. No, because I put in the wrong type, didn't I? It's not find, it's add. You're supposed to try to add it. If it's that, try that again. Perfection. It works. No problem with the armature and the skeleton and all that, which is good. The resource. So at this point, I would just kind of have to do this and repeat it across the other resource types. So that's the physics collision shape and all the graphics types. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'll just do that and be back with something more interesting so after this point i gotta i gotta deal with uh fixing up the resource loading i think because rather because i don't want to have to actually like have this manual like resource load call i just want to actually have like them automatically load each other as required like asynchronously you know you, you 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 load things as you need them rather than just pulling in everything all at the very beginning yeah so until then Till next time, cheers.